We are continuing Ashukaru Horachaim and we are holding on Simar Ayin Hey. We're starting Sif Adalit and Shukaru writes Asur Likrot Keneged Erva, Filushal Obed Gidulim. When we talk about nakedness, halachic erva is not just by a Jew, even a, a Gentile will be considered erva halachic. Li afilushel obet gidulim vechen keneged ervat katan asur even will be uh, a problem in front of the erva of a katan of a minor. So what is the details of, what, what, what are the details of this halacha? So first of all, Ramon adds to this maran, yesh matirim neged ervat katan, there are those who are lenient when you speak about a minor, so long as they're not considered um, which again they don't have a sexual aspect to it for for we'll see what age these are for girls and for boys and that's the psak of the Rama he says the hen ikar no the Mishtabura says can I get erva because the pasuk says in Dvarim Haf Gimal Hashem travels and dwells within your encampment. And your machane, your encampment should be holy, should be kadosh. It says clearly, Hashem should not be seeing any nakedness within your encampment. So that's the source of it. Mikal lamdu chachamim. Shkol makom shashem elokenu. Any time that Hashem, we are trying to connect with Him, that means, of course, every moment Hashem is there in your encampment. But when you're trying to connect with Him, which means through the essek of Torah or reading Kriyat Shema, Psukim, saying brachot or tefilot, Hashem should not see any erva amongst us, which means. That no nakedness, halachic nakedness, should be exposed in front of the person's face, which means your encampment. So, you know, as far as you can see, in other words, if you could see nakedness even far away from your four amot, it's not like the halachot of tzoa, of excrement, that we mentioned there your camp is your immediate surrounding of four amot around you. So long as you don't smell it, if it's farther from that, it's fine. So Aba Shashit, if you see uh, so ah in over a glass, that would be not a problem. But Erva Shashit, if you have a mechitza between you and the Erva, but it's see-through, that does nothing. It's not a matter of my boundaries, my domain. It's a matter of it's a matter of seeing. So as long as you could see it, it's considered within your encampment because the pasuk hinges it on sight. Says the Mishtabura. As we're going to have later on in Siman Ayin Tet, Saif Aleph, it should be. Bechen, also, you cannot be yourself naked at the time that you say Torah or Brachot, Filot. Because then, even though that you're not seeing Erva, imagine if your head is outside the building, but your body is naked, then, and even if your heart is covered, still your Erva is seen to the outside, so therefore, we read to that that your erva is being seen. You cannot say bracha. Now, before we go any further, on this Mishnah that we just got finished reading of tefillah and Torah and so on. How about vidui? When a person says vidui, you're not necessarily saying Torah. Not necessarily engaging in what we call normal tefillah, you're confessing, right? Or you're, you, you know, you have a vine in front of you, or you're not covered yourself, right? Imagine a person is in a night robe and wants to say, uh, We do it. 
right? So the Benish Chai seems to indicate that if you skip the mentionings of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name that's in the Midui, you just say the words of Vidu itself, then it's not Dvarim Shibik Tushai, it's Muta. Right? Because it's not really Torah or um, that level of Tvila, basically confession without mentioning Hashem's name is good to go. That's the Hidush from the Ben Shai. It seems from Kapkaim the same way. Now, um, the other piece we, we have. Um, Next, in next Sifkatan, Sifkatan Chaf, that the erva of Akum is considered also halachic erva. Afar Pishin Emar Bahem, even though that Pasuk in Yechaskel in Perak Chaf Gimel calls, calls them Asher Besar Chamorim Besaram Zirmat Susim Zirmatam. So you may have thought that uh, this is not considered like Adam Atem, Atem Kruim Adam. You, you might have thought that halachically it makes a difference. Halacha is that it does not make a difference. Emma Kimuad Balmadami, Kamash Malan, it teaches you that they are considered the same when it comes to the Alachot of Erva. And you see from here that Erva, the Behema, by the way, is not a problem. If you're exposed to nakedness of, of an animal, that's not a problem. If you say Shema in front of um, the, the naked body of, of or, or the body is naked, uh, of uh, Aside from the dogs in, in Los Angeles, they have uh, suits and uh, two piece, three piece, you know, they have uh, tuxedos and, and so on. They spend more money on their, their uh, behemoth than themselves who are behemoth. But um, the, 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 um, the Erva, we, we, we talk about even if they, they are Evare Hamin, even if their private area is completely exposed, you say, wow, that's Erva. It's not because they're Erva. Luckily, you can say in front of their private area. So that is, <clears throat> um, and that, that's even if they have a kishu, if they have, they, 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 the evare mean is completely exposed, still would be, will be a mutar. So says the Mishnah Burah further. Not, not yet, but again, this, the, the, the general rule is if something is not an appropriate, um, appropriate um, scenario that could cause uh, hirhur. Again, Hazal tell us that you cannot uh, gaze, look at even animals when, when, when they are in cohabitation because it's, it's not considered, it's new, it's not considered something that's proper. So you're not gonna be, um, you're not gonna be engaging in that. So says the Mishnah Ram, Ervat Katan, we said the Shekharuk says even Ervat Katan is considered halachic nakedness. And Chafetz Chaim writes, I am Bebet Yosef, the lo chashash ledat ha-machmirin, rak lechat chila. So if you really take a look at the Maran in Bet Yosef, Maran is choshesh for the machmirin. It's a machlok in Rishonim. And Maran is a stringent lechat chila. Even though that here, Maran seems to just clear cut, say that it's Asur, and uh, we don't reckon with the, the Mekelim, it doesn't even bring the Mekelim. But says the Chafetz Chaim, if you take a look at Bet Yosef, you see that he is machmir lachatchila. However, bidi eved im kara en chozer vekore. If bidi eved you read already, you don't go back. Now, how do we deal with this, halachically speaking? So Ben Ishchai, first of all, explains the Chafetz Chaim as well, that even a, a katan that's just born, one day katan, right? One day old, still considered erva. It's not katan when they start eating wheat and, 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 and so on and so forth. That's for so'ah. But the Gabe Erva, even one day, according to the Machmirim, is considered an Erva, right? And this is Machlok Rishoni. Now, the Mabit writes, the Mabit is, is one of the greatest names of the Achronim, and he writes door after the Maram Bet Yosef. He says that this is Midrabaran. And it seems from a Chuvav Chacham that he also sides with that, which is Drabaran. This is in in Chelek Vav, Siman Yudalit of of Yebiyah Omer. So, on the other hand, how do you make a bracha of Mila? As a Mohel, you want to make a bracha. So you're holding on to, to, the, to the area of, of Orla, and you're about to cut. Well, you're you going to not look when you cut. 
Oh, you're not okay. You're not. You're not going to look when you say the bracha. It's very difficult to do that. So, um, what do you do? What do you do? The Shulchan Aruch himself paskins in the halachot of Milan in Yoredas Manesh Samechei in the Chot Milan that you don't need to cover the erva. You could have it exposed. And nowadays you have a magen anyway, so most of it probably is blocked off your site. But you know, even if it's not, you don't necessarily have to cover it. Says the Shulchan Aruch, and the Kavuchaim explains that because the mitzvah that you're busy with is the tikkun of mila, therefore in that moment only, there's no lawyer vatava. So it's a novel idea. It says, now you're fixing the Brit Milah. You're doing a mitzvah in that moment only. In other words, tonight when you're changing the bandage, you cannot be saying Kriyat Shema. It's still considered erva, but it's kind of like a, a palginan. That for mitzvah, is different. And therefore, Maran says you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do that. Now, That's a very good question. In other words, um, you, you're saying it's not that because I was good, just going to say that the, according to the Chafetz Chaim's understanding that Maran here is only lechatchila machmir, but the Eved is mekel. In other words, Meikar Adin, even Maran agrees that you could be mekel by Ervat Katan, but he's lechatchila being machmir, he's being stringent. Then you have a very good question. You have a very good question. How, how do you deal with a, a, the 75 year old that we did. So what we did was we covered it. We, we, we did any time that we did a, um, a, 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 a Brit for either a Jew that never got or a non-Jew in process of conversion, which is Ervat Goy still is considered Erva. We will cover it. It's this whole process, of course, is this anesthetics, you, you, you inject some local anesthesia. And, um, and then you have to hold the, the larger hymn stats and so on and so forth. It's like a surgery. And uh, when you're ready, when everything is set up and you're ready to, to, to make a cut, then you will cover the area, you say the bracha, and, and then you would, you would do it. So that's the, the usual thing. It's e much easier um, usually to do that than it is at the Brit of a, of a uh, young, young boy because you're doing it basically in the OR. Um, with with, uh, with local anesthesia and everything is under control, the doctors there usually and, and and so on and so forth. So it's it's a very different um, setting and it's easier to to have it covered and so on. So says the Mishnah Berurah. Says the Mishnah Berurah. Again, this is the Ramana. Maran says Ervat Katan is a problem, Ervat Goy is a problem. Rama adds that the Minag is to be mekel by Ervat Katan so long as they're not Raoui Lebiya. So Yesh Matirin says the Mishnah Berurah, the Katan Batsmo Yuchal Likrot Kichu Arom. The Katan himself, when he's considered halachically naked, you can still be reading Sukim. Ad Ben Teisha, until the, he is nine years old, Venegad um, Ervat Ish, and he himself cannot read in front of someone else's erva after he already has reached the age of chinuch because he has to get trained for, for, uh, for the mitzvot and therefore he cannot do that. Uh, which again, here the, the Mishnah Burah says, umikol makom, Says the the Mishnah um, you should not hold on to the erva of a katan when you're saying a bracha for mila, right? And the Eliyahu Rabbah and Machsid Shekel Mekelim. There are those Achrim who say no, it's not a problem. And Prime Gadim Katav Shachshav. Says, nowadays people are not so expert in, in Mohalim are not so expert in, in the uh, art of Mila. So therefore, if you will be machmir for them that Bashat Bracha, they're not going to be holding on to the Orla, 
you may end up with a scenario of sakana, so don't do it. Just hold it the way you hold it um, in the, the most the most safe and, and comfortable way, and that's how you should be doing it. Now, first of all, the two things. When, when Ramah Paskins like this uh, lenient idea, the Ben Ishchai and Kafa Chaim, they both write that you have to be Mahmir like Maran. So here is where we deviate uh, Ashkenazim from Sfaradim. Shcharuch is Mahmir. Shach does not bring even the, the Shita of the Mekedim. And the, the Ramah says, well, even Maran himself in Bet Yosef, only the Chathila is this. But Berish Chai and Kafachayim do not budge on this, uh, on this idea and they hold that it's binding for the Sfaradim, like the Ikar of the De'av Maran Shukharuch, and you cannot read in front of uh, the Erva of Katan. And Chacham Obadiah says that in, in, in Kriyat Shema, when you're saying Shema, you should be Mahmir because Shema needs more Kavara, more mindfulness, and, and, and so on. But for uh, regular brachot, how about you hold that you could rely on the mekilim, and you could say make a bracha in front of the erva of katan. Hence, for him, the problem of the mohel making a bracha or the father of the kid looking onto the the whole scene of Brit making his bracha or is fine according to Hacham Obadiah. So you could you could rely on that. No, they say Shema, but that's before they open him up, right? So at the time, is you know, according to those who say the bracha right over La Siatan, then the, the baby could be open and everything is exposed. When the father says that, certainly Sheikh Yanu, they say afterwards, which is um, which is when when the erva is exposed still. Yes, it does, because again, this is not, you don't need that much kavara when you're just saying it as a psukim in the Torah. According to Chaumad, yes, it would seem so, yes. Um, so it says, uh, the, the Kafa Chaim is another point on the Mishnah Burah that, that brings the Primigadim that now these Mu'alim are not experts, so therefore like, just, just be Mekel and don't take a chance of Sakana. And the Kafa Chaim says that um, holding the the orla with a uh, with a himstat that's made out of uh, out of silver, I guess that's what they had back there. Um, it does not help when when you can't be holding on it, it even even um, you know it, it, you have to be actually holding it to be safe. You can't say okay, I'll. I, I clamp it with a hemostat and I'll be holding the hemostat. Kafa Chaim says, no, just be mekel, do it like norm, like normal way you would do it. Just hold it in your hand properly and um, make sure that there's going to be no sakana for the child. So that's again something that, um, that I, I think it's fair to say that the minhag of the muhalim is to be uh, mekel on this, just like the Mishnabura brings from Primikadi. Okay. Let's just have one little more piece over here. And that is Even the the, the Vilagaon says that um it's asur to be Mahmir like the Magan Abraham and not hold the, the or line in your hand because then, then you may render in, into a situation of sakana, and therefore you should not um you should not do it. And that the reason that you have to hold it, um, according to the Vila Gaon, you have to be Mekel and not do like Magar Abraham, it's because Sarich Lach Zikit Amila Kedesh Tiyah Bracha over La Asiyata Mitzvah. That the Bracha has to be Mamash over La Asiyata, right? If you don't hold it, you just say the Bracha and then you start figuring it out. Then you pause between the bracha and the actual maaseh amilam. Therefore, um, says the Vilagaon, don't do that. And the same similar thing writes the, the Kafachaim as well that if you don't hold the ever when you say the bracha, then you would have to figure it out afterwards to, to touch to, to touch it and to um, 
you know, to stretch it, hold it, measure where you got to cut. All those are a lot of decisions that the Mohair has to make right on the spot. A lot of things are happening. People think, think that, you know, you go up there, it's like everything is like an operation room. It's not. You know, there's a lot of pressure and a lot of things that have to happen. What measurement, what angle you cut, how to make sure that you're not shaving the, the atara uh, as you cut. A lot of things are happening simultaneously. And if you wait, uh, you don't touch anything until you say the bracha, and then you just got to start scrambling, figuring out what, what to do. That um, becomes a, um, a, a large pause, so to speak, in between the bracha and the ma'ase mitzvah. And uh, that would be considered the hefsek merubah between the bracha and asiyat mitzvah. So therefore, says the Gaon, says the Kafachayim, don't do that. Measure it, hold it, be ready for it, then make the bracha and make your cut. We will continue in the days to come.